Good six tonight. Get this: 650 million extra gallons of water now headed to the Great Salt Lake on a daily basis. That comes after Weber County officials opened up a major spillway at Willard Bay. Lincoln Graves is there explaining what's going on and what this ultimately means for the lake. Willard Bay Reservoir is up above me. We're below the dike, and this is the spillway right here. They opened the gates this morning. You can see the water boiling as it makes its way downstream. But we wanted to know just how much this would actually raise lake levels. A new direct channel of water now headed to the Great Salt Lake. It's about 27,000 Olympic-sized swimming pools. This and other releases are obviously happening after a record snowpack. I asked state lawmakers about years when it's not so wet. There are people, as you know, that would love to do this during dry years as well. What do you say to those folks? Well, that's an interesting scenario. We got uh, from the legislative side, we took uh, some criticism because people didn't think that we were doing enough immediately in October and November. To do that would have jeopardized drinking water. Well, we still have to live our lives, right? And so it's about a balance. It's finding that balance. How can we still live our lives, still have the quality of life, but still make sure we're protecting the Great Salt Lake? Legislative leaders have passed numerous lake-related bills, though nearly all focus on the long term, not the short term. They've said it will take time to see how they work. Are you pretty confident that the steps the legislature has taken and will take in the future are addressing this as a long-term issue that we can save the Great Salt Lake? From my perspective and my point, it will maintain and, be, and continue to be a focus. This Willard Bay release equals 650 million gallons per day. It'll run for two to four weeks and likely add a few inches to lake water levels. People will say, well, that's not enough. Right. What do you say to that? <laughs> it's a ton more than we had in the past. <laughs> and it's only part of Weber Water River being released to the lake, with more than a billion more gallons going downstream elsewhere. Well, this is where part of the Weber River is diverted into a canal that leads to Willard Bay Reservoir right there. But the main Weber River over here, it is flowing very fast. It's been delivering about 1.2 billion gallons of water a day to the Great Salt Lake since mid-March. In Marriott Slaterville, Lincoln Graves, KUTV, 2 News. Okay, the good news, the Great Salt Lake has uh, gone up about four feet above its November low, but that's mostly in the south arm of the lake. Water is now starting to even out between the south arm and the north arm, and so rises in lake levels are going to be a little less dramatic, a little less noticeable. Officials estimate the lake will rise another one to three feet after spring runoff is finally finished.